Yes.
to be the least. Yes. That means that you must be willing to be a follower, not always the least. The least, you know, sometimes we, we don't want to be the least. We want to be the most. But if you want to be a follower, follower of Christ, then you have to learn to be among the least. But see, as we honor this pastor, mm. my, my little big brother, I say little because he's younger than I am, and I say big brother because he came into the ministry before me. And I know that I can, I can call on him at any time. You see, he's, he's not so big to where nobody can talk to him. Because, you know, sometimes we, we come across people that, uh, that they're so high that their nose is, is, is so up in the air that you can't even talk to them because your voice is not even going to reach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I know this man of God. I know my brother. Yes. I know that he is truly a least among the people. I know that he seeks spiritual greatness, not just for his glory. He seeks spiritual greatness because that is his calling. Amen. So today, as we honor him, mm. people might ask, well, why do we have an anniversary celebration? All right. Why do we celebrate this man <laughs> of God? Because well, this is what he's supposed to do. He's supposed to be the preacher. You know, we don't have to celebrate him. But you see, he, he has to, people might say, well, he's got to be willing to be the least. So we don't give him a celebration. But let's look at 1 Timothy chapter 15, verses 17 and 18. Mm. Because see, this gives us the foundation for this celebration. First Timothy chapter 5, verses 17 and 18. And it says, Let the elders who rule well be counted worthy of double honor. Double. The elders. Elders are the ones who preach and teach the gospel. Amen. Let them be counted worthy of double honor. Especially those who labor in the word and doctrine. Mm. For the scripture says, You shall not muzzle an ox mm. while it treads out the grain. Mm. And the laborer is worthy of his or her wages. Y'all know what that word wages means, don't you? That means that he or she is worthy of their pay. Plus the mm -hmm. Now see these words in the book of First Timothy come to us from the Apostle Paul, mm. who often received word that his fellow ministers of the gospel they were unable to support themselves. They were unable to care for the church, and they were unable to preach the gospel. Because see, Paul he was disappointed over the fact that some in the early church refused to support the ministry. They wanted to tell their pastor that, hey, grow your own grain. Grow your own corn. And see, this is paraphrasing for us. But every one in the congregation, and see, everybody in the congregation was expected to pull their own weight and to help care for the widows and the orphans in the church community. Well, now the members of the congregation, they argued that the pastor was not a widow or even an orphan, and therefore they must support themselves. Paul, he, he looks at this distorted interpretation of the gospel, and he resorts by, uh, by a letter saying, how can you muzzle the ox that treads the corn? In other words, if the congregation is the pastor's farm field, and you are. Mm -hmm. You are the big, and, and, and you expect him or her to work this thing 
If you would say, Neil, to be 